Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner, we have Light starting as the orange Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we have Luv. Love? Luv. As, uh, that's actually best, as the purple Protoss. This is on Fighting Spirit, and another replay I have pulled out of the archives. Again, if you guys have... If you're an NA player or anything like that, yeah, send me reps. Actually, people are asking about that in chat. Happy to do casts of uh, anybody, really, at this stage to get content out there. Or I need to figure out a game need to find a game to put on my channel just as like a let's play or something in the background. <clears throat> yeah. Time is the... Time and energy are the two. I do have a lot of energy. I feel like to do a lot of things, but it is uh, not infinite in supply like I wish it was. Well, it's... I guess... Never mind. I won't get into that discussion. I like seeing this. It's the pylon on the north corner. I've seen... Uh, who was it? I wanted to say Bonneth, but that's not correct. I've seen DeWalt do this on occasion on Fighting Spirit, but this is to sneakily sometimes disguise that you're maybe going Forge first or something along those lines. Actually, in the Twitch chat is saying cast StarCraft 2. If you get me a replay, I'll try casting StarCraft 2. I don't know. I mean, I'm out of the meta for a really... Anyway. So Gateway plop down on the low ground. And it looks like this is going to be a first scout towards the upper right-hand corner. I've seen this more versus Zerg than I've seen it versus Terran. But initial pressure for Best. I feel like Best's Zealot pressure early is good, and otherwise, that's where he has his most success. Otherwise, I feel like his versus Terran tends to be a little bit too cut and dry, but what I find hilarious is because he's playing Light, it actually might end up working out, because Light's not the guy who's going to play Risky. He's just going to play straight-up standard. Probe getting bodied by double SCV, trying to harass that SCV building in the barracks. You do have that refinery being built. Like doing a good job of escorting that probe away. First sell it in production. We do see an assimilator behind this, so it's not going to be ultra pressure to start off. Just a little bit of annoyance. So it could come down to micro versus micro. Light's micro pretty solid. But I think it's going to be... Well, actually I'm wondering if upon dropping that assimilator... After this first sell is just going to be direct movement to Dragoon. Looks like, yeah, we are dropping that cybernetic score. So just going to be one Zealot pressure. Factory being built. And that could be just to make sure that eyes are kept in the base, which feels a little bit unnecessary versus Light. You know what Light's going to do. Light's going to go factory. Maybe, in, depending on timing and whatnot, go for that natural expansion. Play just standard macro. Zealot rushing up. It looks like that SCV spotting. This entire time, Best Hatton looks like there is additional Zealot in production. This entire time, though, Light has not scouted Best altogether. Nice blockade by Light. Large wall. Factory being spotted. The Zealot looking for room, and he had another supply depot. I'm wondering if this is almost a chess maneuver, too, where it's like, you go ahead and mess up the space in your base. I wonder if anyone's actually built a strategy around that, like going and being aggressive on maps where there's like not the best building area to kind of mess up the background area, sort of like screwing up the pond structure. Initial vulture in production, three marines chasing down a fourth. Potentially there, SCV doing damage against that pylon on the high ground has scouted basically everything. Best just going for... So drawing the probe back. The second zealot initially went up there, but just exiting upon seeing this mess. Machine shop plopping down, so yeah, I'm expecting a factory follow-up. Dragoon hunting that SCV. <clears throat> Should be able to get plenty of shots, confirming, however, on its way out that that Cybernetic score is continuing to spin. And a second gateway, so it's going to be... Is it two gate into expand? Vulture rushing up. Nice blockade by those Zelts to prevent it from getting into the main. And that should keep that Dragoon back. The Dragoon wandering out a little bit too far. Yeah, actually, wandering out way too far. Maybe just a bit of bait wanting to allow that second Dragoon to do its action. But from here, yeah, probably Siege Tech directly into expansion from Light. Light is playing a little bit. This is the way he plays, though, safe. Engineering Bay, there's the command center to float out from the high ground. Dragoon's still trying to... I guess he's got a Dragoon to spare, so still trying to hunt that Vulture and push it back. Two gateways continuing their production. Let's see if Best... Yeah, he's winding up to go ahead and get a natural, and I'm wondering if he's just going to push all these troops towards the main and just allow the Dragoon reinforcements to defend against that Vulture that's wandering out in the field. But Siege Tech being upgraded. This reminds me of... Yeah, this is about as old school as you can get. Uh, factory, machine shop, 
command center, uh, engineering bay as well to respect the Dark Templar. So no, no edge is skipped by light. Uh, Barrack's also going to float out. I do like that. I feel like Best is, he's wandering out and he's like confirming things like, okay, you didn't take a ninja expansion here at the three o'clock. This is light. Light isn't going to take a ninja expansion at the three o'clock. You know what he's going to do. <laughs> he's like the textbook, I am going to out macro you and just send a huge armory of metal heads up into you with such amazing position and micro that you're not going to be able to deal with it. Nexus being built. I like that the Vulture is hanging out here at the 6 o'clock location to engage just in case there is a quick third base take. Third gateway being tacked on as well as a robotics facility for best. And the barracks actually going to float all the way down. That will be able to confirm the Nexus and he might even be able to get some additional tech information depending on how far it floats across to Engineering Bay, blockading the front. Three siege tanks out on the front, second gas being grabbed. I'm looking for the armory. There's the armory being constructed. So I think Light is going to go... I'm trying to remember what year this was from, but I think Light is still going to go for uh, kind of standard upgrade play, which has been there forever. Yeah, just hanging that barracks out to see the probe saturation at the natural. Because if you can see, this is at this level, when you can see the probes and see... Ooh, actually, is that an oversaturation? That's a lot of probes. If you can see that there's fewer probes than usual, sometimes you can... The guys at this level know that there's a probe cut, and okay, maybe there's a timing coming of some kind. Supply Depot on the front as well. Some sort of cancellation, plus one weapons, and a second factory being built. But again, because of that pesky Supply Depot that was plopped down earlier, that's not going to have a machine shop anytime soon. I'm sure it's going to be fine, though. Best is winding up for a larger army here in the mid-game. Rather than making movements, so I, I, I'm curious if he is trying to play to have a larger army down the line to maybe disrupt Light's third and be a little bit less concerned about grabbing his third himself. He's made no movements toward the 6 o'clock location. The three gateways have been spinning this entire time. He has the Observer out, Citadel of Adun out as well. Or maybe he just wants eyes to, to make sure. It looks like a SCV scouting upper left. I, again, presume this isn't to take an ninja. I will be flabbergasted if this is to take an ninja expansion. I think it's, again, just to make sure that... I, I think this is the shock that uh, Best has not yet grabbed that third yet. And so Light is doing due diligence to make sure that Best didn't sneak an additional base out of nowhere. <clears throat> anyway, second gas is up for him. He is... So this is going to be basically two base arbiter, it looks like. So shuttle out there as well. Templar Archives, Stargate, and additional gateways to have a solid gateway flood. And yeah, I think I think Best is looking for a timing and just wants to have the shuttle to go ahead and bomb on the Zealots and wants to try to break light at the natural. Observer is going to go ahead and sneak in from the rear to get a good look at the siege tank count. Third factory coming online. There is a lot of siege tanks to work with. Light starting to position forward, dropping turrets as he goes, and I think this is again to make movements to maybe grab that third. That observer is going to be able to peek in and see that it's just three factories behind all this. And a compsat dropped, so maybe best, I take it back. So he's got this sizable army. I thought maybe he was going to go with this gateway flood behind it, go for a bus, but he is, he's got a probe here, and maybe he is staging up to just grab a late six. Light crushing that observer out on the front, siege tanks, making sure they're not getting caught off guard. Dragoon's kind of in a nice funnel position where the vultures can't really rush past and get to the natural. The observer is going to see them making their rounds. And Light going ahead and, yeah, starting to stage up to go ahead and grab that third well ahead. Well, actually, I take that back. So grabbing this six, best finally grabbing this six, that feels just a really late Arbiter being grabbed. And I'm wondering if this is just to get it faster Arbiter out to have more opportunity for recall, something along those lines. But Light feeling comfortable enough where he's going to grab this three o'clock with the mine coverage, maybe sweep some tanks that direction. And that's what he wants to play towards, just having those three bases and be able to max up. And honestly, with Best being so slow grabbing this third, Best, if he's going to stay relevant in this, needs to make a quick rush to grab a fourth, potentially. A lot of siege tanks here at the three o'clock already to defend this. Some vultures somehow. I missed this. I wasn't expecting this from Light, of all people. Ugh, okay. So missed it. Didn't see the dropship dropping the vultures, but 
able to, I don't think he got a lot of probe kills out of that, but he did get some economic disruption at the very least. Usually that comes towards the six o'clock as well, where the, anyway. So Beth's starting to move out with a bit of those troops. Those vultures still potentially could be a threat to move back. A couple of dragoons are being left. But Light, yeah, just grouping up is easily going to be able to seal in that three. I like that he's also got that SCV stage to the bottom left to go ahead and see if Best does go for a fourth. Best finally saturating the six o'clock, escorting those, being very diligent to escort those probes along the way. But this puts Light at an economic lead as he's three bases versus three means Terran is winning. <clears throat> On top of that, plus one weapons is online. Plus two weapons is already sailing. And I think we should see, well, we might see. See, look at that. The factories have to exchange position. Let's go ahead and get that machine shop online. Kind of a cool thing to watch, though, all of that, uh, all of the rotating. Anyway, seeing the five factory count overall, I expect that to increase steadily. Comsatting the front, does see the Arbiter, so knows that Arbiter is out fairly rapidly. But I don't see, I didn't see any upgrade either in stasis or in recall here. Cannon in the main to defend against potential dropship backstab. So best playing three base versus three base, and that is not gonna cut it versus light. He does have the 20 supply lead he's looking for, but he doesn't have, I don't think the upgrades, I think this was in the era where you kind of skipped upgrades altogether as Protoss and just tried to rely on Arbiters as a thing. Uh, hasn't grabbed his third gas as of yet, is planting a cannon right there. So he, I'm not sure why he thinks he's in the economic lead right here. And this happens a lot with Best, where Best will sit back on bases. It's a little bit, it's not infuriating, it's just like, why Best, why? You're better than this. You can be one of the best, Best. You're one of the dragons. But now starting to clear out, maybe grab that fourth at the bottom left. But this feels like it's just coming so late, as Light is catching up in that supply. Plus two weapons is just about to finish. The five factories are there. And... Honestly, if Best wants to, he can just go ahead and roll for the fourth. He's starting to tack on uh, additional factories now to keep up with production. It looks like Best's going to go ahead and grab the low ground natural expansion, killing that SCV in the bottom left, and float out troops. Yeah, this is where Best needs to start playing a little bit more aggressive and get those troops on the field and maybe start whittling into that siege tank count, which is sizable, as they're... Yeah, I've been those machine shops and they've been out for a while. Additional factories starting to tack on. Science facility gonna float out to provide additional scanning. So plus, plus two weapons. No second factory though to go for the plus one armor alongside science vessel to help deal with the arbiters. And so this is, I guess this, I should have predicted this, that it was just gonna be like a lot of macro up until like one colossal battle right here. This could be the deciding factor right here. So best clearing the mines. Has the Arbiter in the rear, does have some the Zealots to potentially do some shuttle bombing. See if the Science Vessel, I don't know that EMP was researched, but I'm going to presume that it was, so potentially a threat. Best is grabbing, so he is going to at least catch the economic lead here and go to a fourth, but Light in the meantime is nearing 200 supply. He's got plus two weapons. Plus three weapons is not that far away. He's going to attack on that third machine shop and just have a sizable army that he's just going to start rolling, I assume just start rolling across the map in not too long from now. And as that was right on time. Thank you, Light. Um, if he wants to. <clears throat> and Best is honestly giving him an opportunity to go ahead and maybe just roll through. Kind of an awkward way to go, but maybe open up the supply depot right here and roll from the right. Best starting to move up to the upper left. Recall just about finished researching there is 200 energy one thing on fighting spirit is, is this is a lot of territory that you gotta move back and forth between to deal with but both players at max supply and with plus three weapons finishing in well in a while but plus three weapons there i don't know i kind of like light's odds overall uh fifth base from best Light does need to start doing something instead of just sitting on the three bases now that he's hit 200 uh, to go ahead and make sure that it isn't run away with and now a scout being produced. Scout by best to go ahead and sneak out there. Maybe that, uh, did it get a kill? I'm not sure if it got a kill or not. I think that dropship cycled back and 
So the dropship's here, so I think it just unloaded the rest of the vultures. Best running into light, losing a dragoon or two, and pulling right back. Do have some troops in the background. Command center being built. I don't see the... So I'm looking for an arbiter to track off at this moment, but I'm not seeing it. Light starting to sneak out across that bridge. And just splotting, just absolutely splorching Dragoons as he goes. Does have Vulture staged at the 9 o'clock. Right now, Light with a sizable bank. Vulture streaming across, and this is just where he's so strong. Okay, so a single scout. What are you going to do? Oh, it's going to absorb some damage to get a recall at the 3 o'clock. Nice recall. Light immediately lifting all of that, but he is going to be undeterred. He doesn't care about that 3 o'clock base. He's just going to continue to stream forward. Lost some science vessels. And is going to allow mines. So happy to lose these supply depots. They're just going to let mines do the rest. And since he has 200 supplies, he's like, okay, you know, you lost some troops to defend, help defend the 3 o'clock, and I'm pretty sure that I can just wipe out all of the bases you have before you're really able to do much, because I'm going to have reinforcements and potentially on the high ground to deal with you. Well, maybe he's going to have reinforcements on the high ground to deal with you. And look at all of this mech just diving into the natural behind all of this. <clears throat> so these Dragoons and Zealots actually do need to draw back to the main to maybe get some sort of split attack. But even then, it might be too late. Plus three weapons is online now. Marines actually joining this as well. So they getting in on the uh, victory over Protoss Day. Some siege tanks split off to engage the 6 o'clock. The Arbiter is, well... Might be, well, recalling some troops, so might be able to save that. So Best needs to, with everything that's happened here. Yeah, now that's, now those troops from the 3 o'clock moving across, yeah. I'm disappointed. That's all I'm going to say. So Light continuing to press forward. He's got this boxed out. Looks like there are additional gateways being plopped to the bottom left. But Light, again, just surging with some more supply. He's going to go ahead and grab that 12 o'clock. There's more marching across. Light showboating now. I like it. Taking the command center in the middle of the map. He's like, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I at this stage? Yeah, sometimes I'm just kind of like, what's going on with Bests versus Terran? Uh, anyway. An okay stasis, but it is not, this amount of troops is not enough to stop all of this. And so this 6 o'clock is going to be gone in not too long. Light does need to start making movements, though, because there are additional lot of gateways bottom left to follow this up. However, that's just going to produce gateway units, and those gateway units without a lot of Arbiter support, depending, well, yeah, he's producing Arbiters in a hurry here. We'll see how well this plays out over the long term. And, it's, you know, for all of my, like, doubting, this might turn into a match here. As best, looks like he's starting to get, starting to push back out of his natural expansion. And does have a lot of troops coming from the north, light splitting up enough of his army that it's opened up, and so now he has some good purchase, so Light, perhaps... I thought it was over, too, to be fair. But Light may be misstepping here a little bit. Tank's not even bothering to siege, taking on these Dragoons. These siege tanks drawing back. <clears throat> so Best not giving up yet. 12 o'clock base is up and operational, so... And he does need to go ahead and re-grab and resaturate that 3 o'clock. The main is mined out for both players. 6 o'clock base is gone, so this is effectively 2 base Protoss versus what will soon be 3, technically 4, base Terran. Although, I don't think this is going to last very long. Yeah, okay, this, that's finally been spotted. Nice stasis to buy some time for best, so those siege tanks... This is turning out... This is turning into a wild one all of a sudden. So, Command Center trying to float off. SCV's mining and getting scattered. I don't know that Command Center's going to survive, and I don't know that Light's going to bother trying to save it. He's still 60 supply ahead mind you. But Best is making a showing of it. Some pocketed, ooh, big EMP on those troops, though, to soften them up. So finally, Light able to make it into the main. 50 supply differential. However, some Zealots streaming out to the 11 o'clock base might be able to disrupt a key base for Light. Light still does have a lot of minerals left. And he's mining much more efficiently and across more and honestly could maybe just select all these SCVs and abandon this base and retake the three and be okay. But Best is disrupting the base to at least keep it two bases versus two. That natural expansion is somewhat light. Best still has a 30 supply lead. He's crushing everything here at the main. But 
Best is remining here at the natural in the bottom left, in the main. And he's able to, so he's got light down to one base. So if he can somehow, with the very small bank that he has, get some sort of attack to disrupt the three o'clock and take care of all of this mech in the bottom right, he might be able to cycle right back into this match. Ooh, almost dodged that EMP, but not quite. Command Center was taken out here at the 12 o'clock. 27 probes left versus 48. However, those 48 probes are gonna be stuffed just into that three o'clock position. And you do have vultures and now starting to move into stuff that Best was hoping he wouldn't need to defend. Yeah, clearing that base out. So now one base versus one. And uh, yeah, potentially this could be the killing blow or the GG moment as the troops reposition, make their way bottom left. Although where are the siege tanks? Okay, they're still in the main. Looks like they just wanna make sure they clean everything up there. A lot of siege tanks and zealots. <clears throat> grouped up plus three weapons actually there for best as well so natural expansion's mined out three o'clock base is humming for light but he's back behind two bases a slew of pylons being dropped by best so he can go ahead and start producing some troops again has a decent sized ball high templar mixed in as well so gonna make a game of it and yeah, this is what I was talking about. Can he crash that three o'clock base? Three siege tanks there. The Arbiter is sailing in. But getting up that ramp, there's a lot of siege tanks. Huge mine drags to the north. The Zealot's gonna be able to make it all the way up. The turrets have been cleared. That's gonna allow the Arbiters to make their way up. And a good stasis here on the ramp. With this command center being disrupted, light's no longer mining. And might, light's out of resources. So with the showboat, at one point having showboated, and grab the center expansion. <clears throat> Best is all of a sudden in a position to take this. So never, never count a Protoss out is I guess the way to put it. So he's happily mining bottom left, down to 20 probes, but there's only 34 for light and he's not mining anywhere. Some decent Psy Storms are maybe catching these Siege Shanks out of position to the south and Best might be okay. However, there's a lot of mechs still left for light. But it's kind of now that all, all that has to happen is his best just needs to kill it. If best can just wipe the mech out, kill it off the map, he uh, might be A-OK. -okay. And as I say that though, tanks sieging at the natural. This is not a lot of Dragoons and other units to make it happen though. High Templar, Arbiter are there, maybe with a good stasis. It looks like there's distance mining happening at the 11 o'clock in the meantime. Was some at the three as well. The Nexus is now gone at the natural, so it's gonna be one base versus, I'll call it half a base. At the 11 o'clock, the Zealots marching in, Dragoons engaging from the rear. Mind Drag, oh, unfortunately catching, catching some Dragoons as well. And right there, Best gonna call GG, realizing he just doesn't have sufficient troops to clear it out. So a bit of a wild one up and down. <laughs> kind of a funnier one than I've uh, casted in quite some time. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thank you for listening.